How's it going? try to make any syrups I can by myself without buying them. Next up is bitters, and these are Fee Brothers bitters. This was my first time trying them, and I like them a lot. Normally I use Angostura. I think I did four or five dashes, but normally I do two. This is a brand new bottle, so they don't like to come out as easy. And then I do orange bitters. Two dashes of those. dissolved sugar in the drink, so I prefer a syrup. And the secret ingredient is two bar spoons of cherry juice, and these are bada bing cherries. I forget who makes them, but they are a really good alternative to Luxardo cherries, which are outrageously expensive. same as in the jar. And last we put our whiskey. You can use whatever you like. I prefer Four Roses small batch. It's a little pricey, but it's really good. And we use two ounces of our bourbon. some ice ended up in the drink, but it's not that big of a deal. I stir it for an arbitrary amount of time. <laughs> I think I did it about a minute here, but uh, do it however long you feel. But I really like old fashioned like Christmas in a glass. They're my dad's favorite cocktail, so I make a lot of them. 
Express the oils of the orange peel and then rub the oils on the inside rim of the glass. And there you have an old fashioned and that was the first time using those bitters and I really like them in an old fashioned. So I'm looking forward to making more drinks with it. Now we're going to be making a naked ape, which is a tiki cocktail created by Martin Kate of Smuggler's Cove in San Francisco. half an ounce, except for the one of the rums, and this is a monkey tiki mug that I got at Undertow in Phoenix, Arizona. Unfortunately, the lighting is not great, so it doesn't do the mug justice at all. Next time I will be uh, improving on that, but we start with half an ounce of lemon juice. Looks like half an ounce to me. Next up, we've got cinnamon syrup, freshly made again, and I love cinnamon in cocktails. We use half an ounce of this as well. Cinnamon in tiki cocktails is probably my favorite, next to allspice. This is a very good banana liqueur. It's got an almost um, overripe bananas foster flavor to it. We use half an ounce of this as well. of our bitters. This is the only thing that's not at half an ounce. 
this is the Gosling's Dark Rum, and I think it goes very well in a Naked Ape. We do an ounce and a half. Last up, we have Smith and Cross. This is an overproof Jamaican rum, and it's very good. We use a half ounce of this, and like I said, the lighting is not as good as I thought it was. It looked good on the camera, but uh, going to edit this, I realized I should have had a, a light behind me. And the focus is a little out of whack, but uh, I learned a lot making this video, so next time I do one of these, it will be much better. We add our crushed ice. And now we garnish, which is one of my favorite parts about tiki cocktails. A lot of the time they are elaborately garnished. We start with a straw. Then we grab two palm fronds from a pineapple. And a swizzle stick stir stick and there you have it the naked ape it's a very good cocktail you taste the banana the cinnamon and a little molasses from the dark rums last up we have the famous Mai Tai this is a traditional Trader fix Mai Tai that was created in 1944. We start with one ounce of lime. And this was a pretty good lime. It actually gave a lot of juice. still some more I could squeeze out of it. Then we use our rich Mai Tai syrup that we used for the old fashioned. This we use a quarter of an ounce. of 
orja, uh, which is an almond syrup. I like to use half an ounce in my Mai Tai. Next up is Orange Curacao. This is Pierre Ferrand's Orange Curacao, which is, I believe, the best Orange Curacao. It's got an almost candied orange flavor to it, and it's really good. We use half an ounce. is not something I'm willing to make. It's a lot of work. But now we pour our rum. And this is Appleton Estate Signature Blend, which is a really good workhorse rum. My buddy who got me into Tiki recently told me he makes his Mai Tais with Appleton Signature Blend. And I tried it, and I really enjoy it. two ounces of this. Next we add our crushed ice. And normally I would shake a Mai Tai I say blended, it doesn't really blend it uh, like a blender would. It doesn't really break anything down, so it's not uh, it's not like a slushy or anything. But uh, after blending it, this was one of the best Mai Tais I've ever made. So I think the blending is what did it. Because I use the same ingredients for every Mai Tai. So we're putting it in is a Mai Tai glass from Trader Fix, which is who created the Mai Tai and is a very famous tiki bar. start with a straw, a swizzle stick, and the spent lime shell. The idea is this is supposed to look like an island and the mint would be behind it looking like palm trees. But that is our 1944 Mai Tai. And it was like this video. I had a lot of fun making it. Like I said, next time it will be better. But uh, this is what I got for now. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope you stick around for more. Have a good night or day and I'll see you next time.